Now we have a couple of theorems. One of them is the fundamental theorem of algebra. You've been doing algebra for a long time. Now you're going to learn the fundamental theorem. If you have a polynomial of degree one or more, then f of x has at least one complex zero. Now we say complex zero could be a real zero. It turns out all the real numbers, you could think of them as complex numbers. If you think of a number like three, for example, you could write three as z uh, three plus zero i. So a real number you could think of as a complex number with no imaginary part or a zero imaginary part. So it's not saying that they have to have a strictly complex zero, but it could be a real number zero as, as well. If you apply the fundamental theorem of algebra and you continuously you keep dividing po the polynomial by the factor, you will drop one degree at a time. And if you have degree n polynomial, it could have n complex zeros. It will have n complex zeros. Now you have to be careful. You can have ones that you can have higher multiplicities than one. So these are what we call repeated factors. And if they are real, these would turn into a. Uh, this would be the multiplicity to determine if it's crossing or bouncing as an x-intercept. Complex factors, complex zeros, do not show up as x-intercepts. Complex factor theorem, if we have a polynomial of degree one or more, then you can factor it all the way. What does all the way mean? There is a real number factor out front right here. This is x minus the first possibly complex zero to a multiplicity times x minus the second zero to another multiplicity times 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 all the way down until you get to uh, the nth factor to the um, mnth uh, power which would be the multiplicity if you add all these up you should get the sum of the multiplicities equals the degree and i have too many of the same letter n's so let's say your degree was K, okay, that'll work. So there'll be n, just looking at this, there'll be n factors for degree k. So if you add up all of these, you should get degree k. Now, of course, these have to be one or more, so there better not be any more than k here. Gondry Paris theorem if we started out with the polynomial that had real coefficients, then complex zeros occur in pairs, and they occur in conjugate pairs. So what this means let's say this is a factor and your polynomial was real you would also get and you want to be careful you want to conjugate in the right spot. So where's the right spot to conjugate? You want to take the complex conjugate right there. So turn this plus to a minus. Or if this is your original factor, you would turn that minus to a plus. What you do not want to do is turn that minus into a plus. That would be bad.